give you an idea how big the gym is this is our lunch for today that's it so we're just copying the box art pose with the help of some acrylic blocks to make it stand like this but this one looks good zoom it in very nice and here's the completed look of the master grade GM dominance PDP use custom this pose is probably the best you can have so look at this this one is so sick ready for battle action very nice indeed this one is looking good as well staring down at the barrel with two turret guns on the side so the twin turret gun is kind of heavy so you have to feed it around the legs uh, probably lean it forward to make this one work and standing but it's not so bad actually hello youtube welcome back sa pinoy channel ng mga gampla builders it's me metal spike pot pot and today we're taking a short review of the p bandai master grade gm dominance speed fuse custom but before that, let me thank my new subscriber for supporting this channel. So without further ado, systems all green, let's go! So moving on to weapon and accessories, this one is quite a lot for GM, so... First stop is the beam saber, as you can see here. Probably I won't let him handle it because I do prefer the one on the forearm. So all you have to do, this one looks good. Mandatory for every master grade is your action base connector, but most likely this one is good on the ground. So you have, you have the handle separate from the twin beam cannon, which is kind of odd. So all you have to do is hold this one. And the twin beam cannon, you just plug it into the forearm. So you have to take this plastic out and you have to plug it in. Then you will hold the handle. And most likely, the most exciting weapon of this is the turret gun. Just this, all molded in gray. Kinda reminds you of Trovo Barton's uh, Gatling gun. So movement here. So this one should work as a tripod. But this one is on a compact mode and unfortunately it doesn't give you that tripod uh, finish like this. So basically how it works is you have to take this off. And you have to plug this in. If I can get this right, there you go. And the turret gun would look like this. So probably if you have a pack part, you can put it on the barrel. Nice. The head is really nice. As you can see here so a couple of panel lining and uh, if you see this uh, gray piece underneath that a uh, green visor so gamit lang ako ng sharpie metallic but it doesn't stand out then the visor you can pull it down nice effect body So standard in master grade, you can open the cockpit and reveal Mr. Philip Hughes. So this one also has a side-to-side -side movement on the waist. So backpack. So you can store your uh, turret gun here. So just plug it in at the back. So this one has an action to hold the turret gun. So you can see it later, how is it done. 
a simple design for the arms but it works so just a minor panel lining here the shoulder armor is already attached to the arm so it's not a separate piece nice bend so this one is kind of problematic when you're building the trigger finger because it's too small and it always pops out it has a slot here as you can see a hole for the beam effect part so you cannot cover this one it will remain like this so skirt nothing too fancy so it's kind of cheap because it's only the front skirt is a uh, three plastic snap together the back doesn't move so one gray piece and one blue that's it though both the side and the front are independent the pit is looking nice white very clean actually so you have a minor movement here for the thruster even with this one so ankle tilt not too much the toes you can bend uh, the way they design the, the design the ankle guard is kind of weird so you have this gap here so probably uh super glue will do the trick so the bend is nice until you hit the thruster so on the other side on the left arm you have the option to use this uh different uh, different uh, leg attachment so you can pull this effect when you put the beam saber on the side or optional you can use a flat one i guess so again you do have an option to store these guns on the backpack like this so all you have to do is open this circle thing and you line them up this one will go here so the trick is you go like this line them up then close it so that should give you effect so it doesn't move around which is nice so let's try on the other one Move. go and lock so if you notice this one doesn't seem identical because the way the turret gun is built is basically the same i think they're all facing on the right or either the left so all you have to do is plug this in at the back hoping it's not back heavy hmm. nice does really work and here is the completed look of the Master Grade GM Dominance PDP Use Custom. A more closer look. So the twin turret gun is kind of heavy. So you have to feed it around the legs. Uh, probably lean it forward. To make this one work and standing but it's not so bad actually So posing limit for this guy is not too bad once you deploy the two turret gun. So it all begins here. So you can pull this one up and you can rotate it all the way down. So the head, left and right, me. you're not turning the head of the GM all the way around, right? So again, side to side movement on the waist. Little ab crunch. So the legs can only go far here unless you want to take away the front skirt so the back skirt doesn't move and because of this backpack 
again but the deck itself has almost 180 degrees and the ankle the tilt probably not too much but still this pose is probably the best you can have so look at this this one is so sick ready for battle action very nice indeed this one is looking good as well staring down at the barrel with two turret guns on the side so we're just copying the box art pose with the help of some acrylic blocks to make it stand like this but this one looks good zoom it in very nice and another spin around of our feature model of the week the P Bandai Master Grade GM Dominance Philip Hughes Custom. It all comes down to this where this little man decides. Woo! Okay, I did really enjoy building this one, but not as much as my uh, Jesta. So I really like the design, very simple. But for the price point, it's kind of expensive for this Master Grid uh, P Bandai. And the weapons, I really like the twin turret gun. But fortunately, it's only molded in gray. It should have some kind of a block or something. And do I recommend this? Probably not because of the price point itself. The, the kit looks kind of blocky. So it's kind of big. Not as a. Uh, just like the Jesta, Jesta has a different vibe to it, but this one doesn't have. So I'm not recommending it. Uh, uh, depends on your budget, but I do have this. I really like it, so I'll take the blame, but that's just me. So again, this is Metal Spy Pot Pot. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Gunpla is Aloha. Bye-bye.